when I first seen it, I thought, you know, that's a great looking pattern for a hopper. Uh, it's tied on a clink hammer hook. It's a size eight. Now, the guy likely was using the part partridge clink hammer hook. I'm going to use the size eight uh, Daiichi clink hammer. I think it's just a nice, nice hook, anyways. So. Yes, I still bend down my barbs if I can find my. Does that make it easier for you to pull them out of the back of your head? It makes it easier to pull them out of the back of my head, out of my ears, out of my eyelids, whatever, my leg. I just want to make sure. Yeah, yeah. And periodically, I do catch the odd fish, and maybe even easier to take out of the fish. <laughs> so. Oh yeah. That's really yes, it is. It's so. Actually, oh boy. Actually, I'm going to jump in on this one. <clears throat> it's the new design of the Daiichi Clinkhammer. I'll be right to you there. Yeah. And Mr. Clink himself had a, a parting of the ways with Partridge because they screwed up his original design. Yep. Along came Daiichi, who uh, agreed to follow his exact design, and that is the Daiichi hook. The, his original hook being by Partridge, <coughs> yes, not the second generation, but the first generation, yes, had a flat spot. So is this. Yes. Yeah, it does. Maybe I'll tip it up a little bit more, you can see it. Yeah, that's a better idea. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right there, yeah. yeah. On a deeper bend. Yeah. So, so this is a Daiichi hook? This is a Daiichi clink hammer, yeah. Oh, it looks like a better hook, sure. So anyways. What does Mustad make? Anything like this? I don't know if Mustad no, makes no. a clink. No. Now I'm using black thread. I, I forgot my other thread. I like using uh, fire orange thread. It just gives a little bit of reflection through it. I, I don't start on top here. I'm just going to go down. Now, like I said, it called for uh, rubber or uh, rubber hackle for. Uh, for the uh, ribbing, I, I uh, cheated a little bit and decided I would use glitter thread. Surprise, surprise. No. No, yeah, no, I did, yeah. yeah. But it's not purple. Well, no, I, I thought maybe something to kind of blend in a little bit better. So let me just put the rib in there. Whoops. But I just like the way it looks. Like you got the 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 uh, abdomen that'll be down in the water. You got the, the thorax and the wings up on top of the water. Uh, I just think that's the way a drowned hopper would look in the water. Well, you can always drown them to find out. Well, you could, you know. But I'm just going by uh, just thought, you know, more than anything else. And I, I do, do periodically do think. Well, it, takes a while, it hurts. It hurts. It does. It, it does hurt. But. And of course, hoppers are, are yellow. You could use this as a stonefly. You could likely do this in orange. You could likely do it in some kind of olive if you wanted to. Let's get that out of the way. And I would still keep this somewhat. Uh, mm. I wouldn't make a great big fat body out of it. I'm just going to make a kind of a regular. Ouch! Hooks are sharp too, actually. Just going to. You said originally they used the pheasant tail. Yeah, the, the he used pheasant tail fiber. Yeah, and I did. The original didn't look like he had dyed, like it looked just like regular, but uh, I, I'm assuming he could like be, you know, dyed green or, or yellow or something like that. Would like to look all right. Let me just put another little daub here.
And then I will take my glitter thread and I'm just going to do a little bit of a spin on it. And I'm using a, it's, it's, it's orange, but I, a guy could maybe get away with red. I, use, I did one with a red hol holographic that looked not too bad, so either or. Now this is where I really changed the materials. What kind of material was that again, Dennis? This here? Um, doesn't say. Just life cycle caddis. Life cycle caddis is what it says. So I don't know. I'm sure it's uh, synthetic of some sort. Yep. I've had this like for uh, ever. <laughs> likely that's one of the first boxes I ever bought, likely. Probably from Orvis or somebody. Say who? It's probably from Orvis or somebody. Oh, I had. Uh, Straits, Straits Fishing Outfitters, so whatever. Anyways, so what I decided to do is put a little bit of an underwing of, of either poly or uh, antron or whatever you would like. And when I'm doing this normally, I will use a little squirt of glue. <laughs> now, depending on what material you decide to use for the thorax is how you decide to cut your material off. I found that it, I like using foam for the thorax. If you use foam, make sure that you take the material and cut it off where you want your thorax to end, okay? And the reason I say that is, is if you get a, a lump in there, the foam starts to slide down into that lump. So you wanna try and keep the same level all the way across there. So when you wrap the foam on, you're not gonna get a the foam kind of, like I said, sliding down, so. But if you're using dubbing, then it doesn't matter. And I'm going to use dubbing tonight, most likely, so. Uh, I mean, I could, but this would be a little bit easier. And then I thought, you know what would make it really float nice is put a little bit of elk air in there. This is more of a western hopper anyways. I think that guy must have been tying for eastern uh, streams or something like that with not a lot of uh, current in it. And it doesn't have to be real heavy in the, in the all care. Sure. Darn you. <laughs> Try that again. And then, maybe just a little bit longer. You can see that, eh? Then, I'm going to put my legs on here. Again, he used uh, the knotted pheasant tail. 
I kind of like the idea of putting rubber legs on there, so I'll just cut him off there like that. Come on. And I'm just going to bring it back just a little bit. And the reason for that is I'm going to tie it on here like that. And with it being there, then I can just bring that back. Do you ever use knotted festival legs? Was, no. I don't have the patience to try and tie them. And then, you take a piece of foam. This just happens to be rounded. I, that's, I just did that myself. And you can use any color here too. I used one in a, in a really bright green, something that you could see if you wanted to. Or see a little bit better, how's that sound? Pink wings? What's that? Pink wings. Pink wing if you want, yeah, hey. You, you know, you're the tire, you can tie it pretty well wherever you, or how you want. And get that on top, if you can. Again, this is where a spot of glue would be nice. Not that I use a lot of it. And it's actually a pretty simple pattern too. With the larva lace, I got lar larva, vase, larva lace foam, and they have, um, I don't have it here. They have the sheets of foam that are cut in, in strips, and they have really fine strip that they cut, and I use that to wrap in and, uh, with the, the, the thorax, and it actually works really nice. Or no, you just foam just just leave it straight. Yeah, let's pull this dead. That's why it's you know when if you're going to use just the foam, then to just make sure you make that that whole piece in there as, as level level as you can. And what you're going to do is pull that over. Damn it. I lied. I didn't come back far enough. Come on. There we go. I didn't used to be that fussy until we started doing uh, those Bergman flies. Think of what? But the clay camera hook actually has got a really, really 
good design to it. And you can make so many different things out of it. Like you can make stonefly uh, nymphs out of it. Um, yeah. I was going to say it looks like a Dave Woodlock. So. I've done soft tackles by using the cling hammer. So it, you know, it, it can work on a lot of different things. And yes, I use others than clink hammers. Well, I wasn't trying to imply anything. I just know no, no, no. seem to have a bit of a you know affliction with clink hammers this year. It's just it's just because it's a nice hook. That's all. Trim that off. And I don't know if I'd have to trim the legs off on that. Sometimes they like the legs a little bit longer. And there you go. But I just think it's such a good design because if you take a look at the hook and see that bend in there, it's gonna this part of it's gonna float. This is gonna be in the in the in the film, you know, it's gonna be like a drowned drowned hopper. So that's it.